Hello there everyone, my name is Ruxby and welcome back to some more Let's Play Mother 3. We're now here in Chapter 4 and uh, we need to go to Club Tiddy Woo because apparently someone that looks like Duster and could be Duster is there. But unfortunately the train isn't going so we're just gonna have to walk here. So uh, we're gonna enter here into the train tracks and well there's a new enemy here, the Ramblin' Mushroom. Uh, let's see if we can take this out quickly uh, before it does anything annoying. I don't think they are too tough, so you shouldn't have too big of a problem with them. Uh, although I remember in um, Earthbound they could like mushroomize you, which would like make your controls all drunk, which was quite annoying. But I, I'm not sure if they uh, still can do that. I, I never really had too big of an issue with it. So I also off screen uh, got a bunch more thunder bombs. I definitely recommend doing that. And just giving them to Boney. That will make Boney actually be useful in battle. Because otherwise, Boney just lacks any kind of strength. Now, if we keep going here in this open section, uh, you can see a new enemy there. But we're not going to beat that one. Because right up here is another one of those. And we can actually attack it in the back. Nice. But it's the squawking stick. Now you want to take these out a bit quickly. Because I believe that they very often call for help. And that would just extend the battle. And you don't want that. But uh, as I said. You want to get a lot of thunder bombs. Because that will make Boney actually useful in battle. He's not too strong. And the thunder bombs will help. Especially in group battles. With that said though, let's head into the next tunnel here. And I don't think this tunnel has anything special, a bunch of slitter hands. Which luckily aren't too tough if you just throw a thunder bomb at them. And the thunder bomb just barely doesn't kill them. But we get to the next outside section and Bonnie notices something. A bunch of clothes on the ground. That's interesting. Uh, oh, what's this about? Girlish clothes are lying on the ground. Girlish, huh? Let's climb this ladder and look look at that. Boney is a dog and he's climbing a ladder. Like, wow. You can't see most dogs do that. But Boney can. And yes, yes, I know, Tank the Bear. This is you pointing it out. But hey, it's still cool to see. Anyway, if we go into this uh, hot spring, we can heal, first of all. So I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds to heal back up. But... There's also a guy here. Uh, let's talk with him. Oh, it's Ionia. I, you caught me stark naked. Well, why are you getting naked in public? Oh, aren't you the boy I met at Aeolia's house three years ago? Remember, you said you were going to drag a plateau to avenge your mother. Uh, that wasn't you? Hmm, how odd. Well, yeah, that wasn't us, but apparently... Um, we're being mistaken for Klaus, but here's a magic butterfly colony so you can uh, restore your PSI. Uh, that's what those magic butterflies do, but, well, we don't have PSI. We've never even heard of it, but apparently we have a lot of magical power. So, he tells us to wait. Just endure it for a little bit. Wait, and en endure what? Don't str what, what are you doing? Um, I, I'm not sure I like where this is going. Uh, help. I, I, I need an adult. I, I think. Oh no, he drowned Lucas. Oh no, Lucas is fine. That's good. But something awoke inside Lucas. Lucas learned life up alpha. Lucas learned healing alpha. And lastly, power welled up from deep within his heart. Lucas rid us the power of PK Gaming Alpha. Now, the default for ga PK Gaming Alpha is PK Love Alpha. And it's basically just whatever you sing, say as your favorite thing. That will be what gaming is. But I put in gaming. So for me, it's going to be Gaming Alpha. So yeah, we learned how to use PSI. Nice. Good job, Lucas. And... Uh, he can't believe it. We can use PK Gaming. That's apparently a very rare uh, PSI ability. So uh, we are quite the sly devil. So uh, maybe we'll meet again. But uh, we'll uh, tell him our name, Lucas. And uh, he'll remember that. 
So uh, let's leave him to his bot now. Of course, those uh, new abilities will come in useful, uh, but I should chart it off. There's a bunch of butterflies here, and there's another one inside of that inside that box. But if you just run into one, just like that, uh, you will restore all your PP. And uh, hey, that's a butterfly dress or a uh, frog dressed up as a butterfly. Let's uh, go to the next area now and. Well, we have already seen these enemies, but I wanted to show off the new PSI techniques that we got. First of all, there's attack, that's PK Gaming. This will hit everyone in 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 the battle for like 120 to 160 HP of damage, which is quite nice. Uh, furthermore, you have Life Up Alpha, which will recover about 60 to 70 HP for just one party member, and Healing Alpha, which will cure a status ailment for one party member. But if we do a PK, Gaming Alpha, that should definitely do good, and I think uh, we can just guard with Boney. Uh, yeah, they're gonna attack, but that that's cool. Boney uh, guarded, so it didn't do too much. But yeah, this uh, hits hard. It hits really hard. So that's very nice. And nice, we even got a level up out of that. And a fresh egg. Cool, cool. Now let's uh, keep going here. This second tunnel isn't too long, but it does have a new enemy. So let's fight it. Let's fight the mushroom. Um, I think these can be a little bit annoying, but I'm just gonna attack them normally because it's a single enemy. So I don't really want to um, waste uh, too much PP on using uh, anything. But yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, I'm just gonna have to use a bit of PP to uh, heal myself back up with PK life up. So th that's fine with me, honestly. But there we go. It it gets taken down so yeah those can be a bit tricky but they shouldn't be too bad and especially if you decide to use your psi you should be able to take those down really easily um but i really don't want to battle too much guys see because if you don't this is gonna happen now luca or um not lucas uh bony is feeling a little strange so we're gonna have to use healing alpha on him to uh, heal him back up but now we get to the next section, and uh, please don't write graffiti on signs like hot dog or dog food. Hmm. Okay, we won't. There we go, that's those guys taken care of. So uh, let's keep going now, and there's a sprinting bomb there, very nice. Um, also, there's a billboard here, Tasmania to the left, that's where we came from. The factory is to the right, and uh, so that's where we're going. There's a cliff to the north and some tracks to the south. Thanks, I couldn't see that. Thanks for stating the freaking obvious. But there's also another new enemy here, namely a reconstructed mole. Um, I don't want to mess around with these guys because I think they are pretty tough from what I remember. Or they can be at least, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, see they even uh, survived a PKL or PK Gaming Alpha. So. They definitely uh, are quite tough and they can call for help. But luckily we got away with a lot because they didn't even bother attacking us. That That's very nice. So uh, let's uh, keep going through this tunnel here and oh no, oh no, a train jump. Oof, right in time. That could have been bad. Okay, let's keep going here. And uh, we're coming here at the end of the track. And uh, we are increasing the number of cattle snakes. They're extremely dangerous. If you see one, stay away. View them from a distance only. Chimera Laboratory. So yeah, those are cattle snakes. Do not fight them. They are like high level 30s. You cannot win. I, I, I highly urge you to just stay away from them. But we have to battle this. Okay, there we go. That's that enemy taken care of. So now we can grab this bread roll here. Uh, and uh, over here, youngsters, here's your chance to sweat beautiful sweat part-time help wanted at the factory all those interested apply at the factory right this way hmm and oh it's butch he's not slacking off he's keeping an eye out for people who are slacking off hmm sounds like you're the one slacking off butch i don't like you um so yeah over here is the factory and uh, hey this is a uh, biff working at the factory isn't easy but you got free tickets to club titty boo out of it huh huh that, that's good to know there's a vending machine too you can use that 
uh, if you want to get some stuff. There's also this guy here who uh, has your items again and we can also grab some eye drops. Always helpful. But let's uh, keep going north because, well, Club Tittyboo looks to be north and that's where we want to go. Now there are enemies in this area. Do not fight them. They are way too high level for you. You, you cannot really beat them. We also get an area map, so you can see this is a pretty big area. Uh, you can go to the left and the right now, technically, but there's really nothing we could actually do there. So we're not going to bother. Um, door looks to be locked, huh? This roadway leads to Club Tittyboo. Do you want to ride up it? Oh yeah, thank you. Tickets, please. Hmm. We don't have any tickets, so we can't let, be let in. Well, luckily we know how to get tickets. And that is by working at the factory. So let's uh, see if we can get a job here. Hey, suspicious fellow. We're, we're just someone looking for work. Yeah, we want to go to Club Tiddy Boo. Uh, so can we get a job here then? If yeah, Okay, we'll uh, do some part-time work. What do you say? Are you up for some part-time work? Yeah. Yeah, I could go for some. Okay, well that makes things easy. So we need to transport claymen. Go all the way inside, go down the ladder, and you'll find some claymen. Some of them are out of energy, so bring them back up here, one at a time. After you've brought up three, you're done. Seems simple enough, and uh, we get the factory sketch just uh, to have a map of the area so we don't get lost. Oh, and we need to sign our name. N not, not your name. I mean, you know, the name of, um, yeah, that person in the background person pulling the strings I guess you could say what I mean to say is the the player's name you know the let's player the guy who's talking right now th that that idiot you know the one who puts these videos up on YouTube that that guy's name it's for verification uh, but yeah you you guys know I'm Raxby hi so uh, yeah that that is my correct name hmm okay well he's uh, added it to the record so don't do anything bad because that will inconvenience me. Yeah, Lucas, uh, you don't want anything bad. But, oh, dogs have dog things to keep them busy. So, uh, go ahead and do what the boss dog says you have to do. I wonder who's the leader of the dogs then. Who, uh, do they have like a dog in a pig mask costume or something? That would be interesting to see. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, we'll know which ones to take care of so let's uh, enter now and oh hey Lou everyone's working down below hmm okay so what do you have to say when we zap claim on low in energy they start moving again these machines almost seem to invite you to use them but you can't touch them people can't touch them or else they'll get zapped something fierce I never touch them of course but I really want to ignore the urges ignore the urges yeah, kind of like the buttons that say do not press and then you just want to press them more. But look, it's bony. Ah, ah. It's nice to get exercise once in a while. Yeah, that's good. And uh, there's a, some other dog here. Stray dog. The new guy with dark fur is so annoying. It's like he just shut up and work, will ya? Hey, don't be so rude to bony. And th this isn't a dog. It's a pig. Ah, silly people. Let's uh, head down the ladder and... Uh, start our job so hey use this lift to send low energy claimant up to the ground floor so just bring one here and talk to me well that sounds uh, simple enough so that one looks like it's in very good shape but um as you can see the mines are relatively small ish you know not not too big not too big uh, and you just want to run around until you find one that's low on energy uh, i think it's random which ones have low energy so they can be really close by but they can also be pretty far away from you i saw one there and uh oh wow there's really deep inside here ah crap i screwed up big time and broke this clay man mm. well you're gonna have to do overtime because yeah we we can't even push that that is way too heavy for little lucas what about you it's digging up clay but another secret purpose huh a huge dragon huh that's interesting Wednesday, I just have to finish work so I can go to Club Tiddy Boo. So you can see Violet in all her hotness. Huh, a hot girl, huh? Oh, hey, Thomas. No, we are, Lucas. Yeah, yeah, we are. And, uh, another guy here? Yeah, we want to go up to Club Tiddy Boo. Okay, well, 
we can't really climb the cliff, so that's all good to know. Anyway, let's uh, push this guy now, now that we know what to do. Unfortunately, you can't run when you have these guys, so you're forced to just push them. And it can be really, really slow, but that's just the way it is. Um, now, also, one thing that I wanted to tell you guys, like... Um, I got a comment on a, a forum on uh, the Let's Play Sanctuary. It's a Let's Play forum I go to. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, you, you should check that out. But um, a guy called Armored Chocobo, he actually uh, is also a big fan of the Mother series. And he actually pointed something out that I never really quite realized. But uh, for those of you who know, like, I prefer Mother 3 over Earthbound. But I can't really think of anything that uh, Mother 3 does worse. But he got me thinking about one of those things and uh well we brought one up so uh let's just bring this up but yeah if uh, you in earthbound if you would run into an enemy and you would be way stronger and you would just insta beat it you would still get experience for it um but in this game that's not the case like remember in uh, chapter three when we had the porpoise vehicle and we would just ran over those um those pill bugs in the tunnel well, in, in, if it was like Earthbound, you would probably just get experience for that. But in Mother 3, you don't, which is a bit of a shame, really. But yeah, that, that's something interesting and uh, something I hope that... Uh, yeah, that, that, that would have been a nice feature to have in this game, too. But we uh, brought the first one over. So what do they do? Well, they shock it. And it remolds into a perfectly healthy one that can run right back on. So yeah, they are uh, pretty interesting, these clay men. Uh, they are quite, you know, resilient. Uh, we only have two more to go, so that that's good to know. But yeah, you just give them a shock and they uh, quickly get revitalized and just run back up. And oh, nice. This next one is really close by. Let's uh, just push this one straight into the lift, huh? Oh. Come on now. Come on. Go up. Yep. Just a sec. Why don't you just keep the lift down here? I, I really don't get the point of having the lift up at any point other than when we move up. Like you should just move it straight down right afterwards in my opinion. That, that would be a lot more efficient. Come on guys. Work on your efficiency. You want to make a bigger profit on these uh, claymen, don't you? Although I guess they aren't really selling them, but still, it seems like a for-profit business or a business that appreciates more efficiency. But uh, Lou will just uh, take care of things, so we don't have to uh, watch that whole scene again. And we only have to do one more clayman now. So let's uh, head back down. This one is uh, back and active. So where could the last one be that is... Uh, in bad shape is it down here yes it is this one right here come on buddy gotta take you away gotta take you all the way back little clay man yep just gonna push and push and push and push and push and push and why why is it shoveling like why is it using a shovel you would think they could just like mold their hands into a shovel shape or something instead of using like human tools that that's a bit silly isn't it at least i think it le seems a bit silly uh oh well and here there's three shovels and this guy isn't using any of them he's just running around what what are you doing man get to work i didn't fix you for nothing <sighs> oh well let's uh send this last one up so let's call the elevator and he'll he's gonna push him back on there and uh, let's get on there too because why take the ladder when we can take the lift right <laughs> <coughs> laziness for the win although i mean we are pushing like giant claimant around i don't really blame lucas for taking a short break on that lift so let's uh, push this one down and then we should be all done with our job Oh, good work. That's enough for today. So don't forget to uh, get our payment. That definitely sounds like a plan. So yeah, we finished our part-time job. Good. Let's uh, head down now and get our payment. 
Oh, and Bunny is here too. Good job, here's your reward. So, we get a ticket for Club Tiddyboo, which is what we really went for, but we also get 200 DP, which is uh, very nice. That always helps. And uh, we're still young, so uh, we can go back anytime and uh, work. And if you do it, you get another 200 DP. Now, it is late, um, but I uh, want to deposit this 200 DP, actually, because I don't really uh, need that right now. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and head up. And uh, we're going to go ahead. And you know what? We'll go up to Club Titty Boo next episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed it and want to see more, then please do consider subscribing to my channel below. And while you're down there, why not leave a thumbs up for this video? Because that always uh, motivates me to see you guys enjoy my stuff. Thanks for watching and until next time.